Hello everyone, welcome back to That Cyber Guy. So today it is very exciting because we are going to learn about one of the most popular packet sniffer, packet analyzer, why shark. So if you go to a uh, to a hotel, you know, many times you may you, you can hear from the TV or social media that do not use a website that is not safe or that is not secure, that is not encrypted. So today what our demonstration is gonna be like, you know, pretending that you know you go to a uh, to the airport or you are on vacation at the hotel or you're you're using a free Wi-Fi. And then at the same time you visit you're visiting a website that is not encrypted. How an attacker can just be able to read your credential like your username and password. So let's just get and get started. Can just go ahead and open our terminal so we gonna type wireshock and then this is the wireshock that is opening right now let me minimize it actually you can you can either use the terminal for wireshock or you can actually just go to the search bar and search for it but again we are we are cyber guy we don't use like user interface so now i can just start capturing from the wireshark interface and then i can open a new terminal so this is where i'm going to try to access the meta exploitable server this is very important so it is very bad and you can be in big trouble if you're trying to do that on someone's else website that's why we have meta exploitable that is free and available so if you wanna test your skills, if you wanna practice uh, some skills, you can do that. So if you wanna learn more on how to download and sync your uh, your Metax portable to your Kali machine, check out check out our previous videos. So right now, what we are going to do, we are going to just hop into wire, uh, Firefox, and then I'm going to put the IP address of my Metax portable server. And then this should open Firefox for me and just go straight to that server. There we go. So now I'm going to go to that website. That's a very cool name for that website. It is DVWA. So what we can do right now. So I'm going to put my username and password. My username is admin. So as usual, my password, I cannot tell you what it is because this is what we are going to try to capture from Wireshark. I can click on logging. Voila! Now I'm logging into the application. I can do a lot of things here and then when I'm done, I can log out. But now, we can go back to the uh, Wireshark because the Wireshark is uh, still capturing. So this is where the bad guy is. And this is user Joe that go to his bank trying to just do some money transfer. So right now, you know, I can stop my the capture because I'm done. And then, you know, I can just maximize, you know, Wireshark. So, uh, you know, because this was PHP my admin, many times, you know, PHP use post. And then we know that this was an HTTP request to the server. We can try to filter because you see that we have a bunch of log right here that's gonna take a long time to just go through. So we can just actually uh, uh, filter HTTP. The cool thing about Wireshark, for example, if you wanna filter for ARP or anything, as soon as you put the first letter, you see all the others populated. So I can search for HTTP and then hit enter. And now, because I know that, you know, PHP my admin typically uh, uses the post method to submit login credential so i'm going to look for post all right let's go down we're gonna look for http and post okay i see one http but this is a get request i have to look for http that has post http get request again there's one http post now if i double click on that i can try to capture what was listening 
so let's see here there we go so from that website as you can see the ip address if we close this out this is related to the server's ip address so so i can just go down here and see what the password is as you may as you can see from the beginning the username was admin and my password was password so this is what i was trying to demonstrate uh you know sometimes people keep uh, saying that you know okay don't use in insecure uh website or don't do this and that this is the reason so if for example if if the website was encrypted i wouldn't be able to see anything so it couldn't make sense but you know unfortunately from the wash uh, from here as you can see here the website is not secure it sent everything into plain text so i hope this video was very uh useful to you make sure that you you check out the uh the wireshark you know website you know this is what i always uh encourage people to do you know in cyber security in order for you to be successful you have to read you know make sure that you read documentation for example i can go to wireshark documentation I write a document documentation and then you can just go there and learn on your own you know how to just do all this you know therefore you can actually go ahead and just read on your own read you know go to the wireshark website they have good documentation for you here to just read through you know uh make sure that you like and subscribe because we are going to discuss a lot